Okay. Hello, people. Sorry about that. That was, uh, technical error. We can both go, dude. Honestly, I just want to hear us come. So far, um, yeah. actually, that's a better idea to see this one. I know, I'm not saying anything right now, I'm trying to listen. No, we'll stop right here. There you go. Um, Anna, did you read the fucking post? Uh, I mean, actually, no, I'm gonna let her go more. I, I, I wanna... Why did... Okay, you know what? You you just discredited yourself. Why'd you have to establish he was a man? We know he's a fucking man. She's talking about this guy who, um... You know the, the Elliot Roger shooting a few months ago? Apparently some guy commented on his thoughts on what... He didn't really say it caused it. He just said, like... You know, um... You know... He was just giving his thoughts on, like, what, you know, what his little opinions are. She's trying to spin it as this guy who's trying to make disgusting comments. Like, did she just, she read, but did you actually read? Like, what I'm trying to say, she read it, like, skimmed through it, but I felt like she didn't listen to what he's trying to say. Because I could, I saw what he's trying to say. And what he's saying isn't that bad. Honestly, he's making a good point. Nowadays... It is bad. You look down, frowned upon as weird if you're not the most talkative guy in the world. If you're quiet, you're shy. Hey, I'm one of those people. So, continue on. To seek casual sexual relationships, to want that kind of physical activity, but for women to be open with their sexuality and to want to date whoever they want to date and sleep with whoever they want to sleep with, that's unacceptable. That's a product of American feminism that we should be ashamed of and afraid of. And by the way, if you want to have casual sex, You know, no, not this bullshit that drives me crazy. It's bullshit you're spewing right now, Anna. Anna, you're spewing bullshit. I, I'm, I could read right through your bullshit. I mean, you're saying he never condoned what the guy did. You're, you're reading way too into it. He's basically saying that, you know... You know, Gabe, you look good. <laughs> um, I mean, come the fuck on, Anna. Be smart. I mean, you people telling me she's intelligent, I, I don't see it. Uh, go ahead. She never gave him a pass, you dumb bitch. She's basically saying, okay, let, I don't, okay, let's go. They pass their physical prime. They select a nice guy with whom they settle down with the understanding that he is expected to keep his mouth shut when a trickle flow of informational cord reveals that his bride to be has experienced more than a dozen different penises in her vagina, penis, and mouth. Okay, the damn, dog. Different penises? Yep. Well, I'd like to know how many huh. vaginas you've had in your mouth, Lelouch. It's totally acceptable for a dude to do it, but if a girl does it, well, she's Wait, just a whore, me. right? Wait, what, did, what exactly did she say? You want, you want me to start from the beginning, Gabe? 
exactly what she said. She she's basically saying this guy's commenting saying, well, uh, okay, the whole Elliot Roger thing. He was putting his two cents on it, saying that you know shy guys are frowned upon, which is fucking true. They are. They are. You gotta be Mr. Suave, Mr. Swag Fag, which. Anna, from what I can tell, you probably bang slag bags. Just saying. Um, but no, or she hoopsters. she's trying to make it to make it sound like he's or trying posh to. Men. Oh yeah, you know she's trying to make it sound like this guy's condoning what Elliot Roger did. No, Anna, did you fucking read it? Like, I mean, you you read it, but did you actually understand what he's trying to say? No, your feminist bullshit. This is your pleasure. Your feminist bullshit once again comes out. I, I, I used to say I didn't like her points. Now I'm turning it to the point. I just don't like this bitch. And you people are going to say, well, why are you watching it? It's fun making fun of her. I'm sorry it is. Yeah. And this is going to be a thing now, YouTubers. Keep that in mind. I'm going to start doing this now. Exactly. Keep on. She deserves to get shot. She deserves to get attacked. I mean, the sexual... <laughs> no one, Anna, no one's... You know, it's like, I... I... I'm like religious and everything, but I truly believe in time. And no one said that. Once again, you. you that was my phone. Um, once again, you're reading way too into it. I think you're you're trying to put your feminist spin on it. Once again, no one ever said whores deserve to get shot. You, you you're overreaching. Typical feminist logic. That's what they do. They will overreach. They will use an argument that no one said, that it wasn't said before. <sighs> See, people, this is fun. This this is fun. I am enjoying myself right now. Ripping this cunt apart. Go on, keep going. Entitlement only, only applies to men, but when women want to be open with their sexuality, it's not okay. And look, I, that double standard has existed. Uh, dude, I don't need to go through it. I've said this before. Women, it isn't hard to get sex. I'm being completely honest here. Any girl can get sex, really. You don't have to really work for it. We have to. This is why when guys give that dap, oh, he got his girl, because the reason is because we have to work for it. And when he finally gets it, it's like winning a championship in wrestling, you know? And it's a proud moment. But when girls do this is like handed to them, you know? And I'm not saying all women. Once again, I have to use that political correctness part of me, which I'm not. You should know. Forever. If a woman doesn't have sex, she's a prude. If she does have sex, she's a whore, right? But what makes me so sick is that this guy is writing this almost in defense of. Anna, you. This, this, this bitch. <laughs> no one said that. No one. He's not defending him. He's just putting his, like, two cents in. And honestly, what he said, I have to kind of agree. Honestly. He didn't... He made a great point. Uh, I mean, Anna's just being dumb. Uh, I mean... You know what? I'm gonna restart this. I feel like... Eh, keep going. Um... This is fun. Um... Just... Live... Commentary of Young Turks, and I don't know how this show is that popular. I really don't see. They're, they're no different than mainstream media. Keep going, Anna. What this guy did, and it makes me sick. It's shifting the blame from something that might be legitimate, like gun laws. Well, of course, you got to bring it back to guns. And shifting no. that blame onto women. Women didn't do it. You dumb cunt. No one said that. bitch is a headache <laughs> anything wrong how insulting is it to the people who died as a result of that madman let me give you more and i'm gonna said, i'm gonna say this too elliot roger killed more men than anything in the, that killing let's be honest here he may have said oh i want to kill all these bitches but personally he killed more men than female just saying you know interacted with men who functioned lower than him, but were later able to successfully meet average-looking women and achieve intimacy with them. 
until you give men like Roger a way to have sex. Even though even Elliot Roger was a rich guy, he could have gotten prostitute. Out a Thai wife and went to or Vegas. And he had a BMW. Well, These bitches nowadays would have fucked him if he had a BMW, though. Attacked. It's inevitable for another massacre. The thing is, so that's his commentary he's complaining about a, being a tragic, lonely. depressing yeah. story. But he has Shift all the blame this onto money. women. Shift the blame onto the fact that, hey, this he's dude rich. couldn't legally find a Thai wife. And, it's not and like he's lonely and, and, and he victim. has to, like, work. work. Anna, you're reading. That guy's not even... You're reading way too into this. I, 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 this is This is my big problem with her. And this has always been my big problem with her. How is she intelligent? She reads way too into it. He never fucking condoned what he did. He's giving his two cents on it. I don't even feel that she does this stuff herself. I feel like she hires somebody to do the research for her. They do. They get research from their other sites. Honestly, they just re-report what other has been reported already. So they're not even actual journalists. Granted, I'm not saying, oh, you're going to have have people come on here and say, well, they're not journalists. Well, they're not good commentary either, because honestly, their commentary is bullshit half the time. It's absolutely sick and maddening that there are people out there that think that kind of thought and that type of ideology is acceptable or okay. And someone needs to stand up and give them a middle finger. Uh, and Anna, I'm gonna give you the middle finger. How about that one? <laughs> Look at her face. Not the right way. You are not entitled to have sex with whomever you want. You are not entitled to force or, or manipulate someone into having sex with you. That goes for both men and women. It has yeah, to be Yeah, stop reading way too into things, age, man. We're, we're dealing with rapes on college campuses and inaction when it comes to testing rape kits and actually... Can I say this? Uh, honestly, I'm going to bring this up. You know who gets raped more often in prison? Men. I hate to say it. I'm going to be that guy. And it's probably a much more violent rape. It really is. He probably gets, like, thrown on the... W I'm not going to go into detail. But, and another thing. Why is it always rapes pushed as only happening to females? It happens to both sexes. Yes. And look, and there's another case. Priests, who do they more often molest? Boys. Yes. Molestation is mostly... Young boys, man. And even pedophilia. It baffles me. That it's always yeah. rapes pushed as this thing that only happens to females. You know? Yeah, when you think about that... Rape should be a human issue, not... It should be an issue for both sexes. There's a lot of pedophiles who and, are... You know, don't make it one-sided. It's always stupid to me. I'm gonna have the full picture. I'm using logic. Keep I'm, an open mind. I'm actually using logic, unlike this... Unlike... Continue. Prosecuting rapists, it makes me sick to my stomach that an asshole like this can post something about a tragic event that occurred over the weekend. Anna, you know what? I'm gonna say what Cartman said to Kenny and Kyle. I mean, in South Park, get the sand out of your vagina. I think that's what it is. I think you got sand in your vagina and you need to get it out. You can't get a girl, mm -hmm. and I'm telling you, I, I've noticed this a good percentage of the time. We act like there's only weird guys with, uh, with Asperger's or, or with any kind of social fear in our society. There are women who cannot get a man. Okay, you know what? You 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 just crossed that line. Girls can get sex more often than guys do. Let's be real. The men have to do most of the work. Once again, yeah. I I mean. They don't appreciate what we do for them. No. They really don't. And it baffles me how this channel is this popular. In, in closing, Young Turks, you may be super popular, but you spew, spew nothing but bullshit, and I'm just gonna, this is gonna be my new mission, I am gonna, I'm gonna do live commentary on your shows, and just pretty much debunk, or rip apart your videos, cause, I, I don't know, see, there's one side. But then there's another side. They're very one-sided too. It's like, oh, and this is enough. Oh, actually, you don't on you don't have to agree with me and my friends are saying, but yep, everybody has different opinions. That's why. They're Dude, they did a video on Dave Mustaine. Oh my god, as a young metal fan, it just it really slapped me in the face when they did this. Hmm? 
Oh yeah, I'm not posting it yet. It's, this is recording. I'll probably post it later. While I'm doing uh Okay. We're doing one more video. Anna, shut up. Uh, I'm gonna we're doing a video now on um Anna's doing a store on Dave Mustaine. You know how crazy he is, he says crazy shit, but go ahead. A rocker from Megadeth and First of all is metal like Barack Obama. Artist. He believes that Barack Obama actually staged some of the shootings that occurred here in the US. Now why is that? He explains so in one of his recent shows. Let's watch. Mike President. <laughs> Dave Mustaine. He's trying to pass a gun ban. So he's staging all of these like yeah, let's be honest. It's, this is Dave Mustaine. He says some fucked up shit. I mean, he says some weird things. He's said a lot. I mean, what metal artist nowadays doesn't? This will be our last commentary, by the way. I just want to. Nazi America. My dad thinks that the shooting was staged as well. My dad knows a lot about this stuff. Yeah, but what is it about these rockers like Ted Nugent? Oh, yeah. Ted Nugent's more a country singer to me. Dude, who, who would? But anyway. And this is another thing I've always hated about this show. They, like this guy, like this guy would fight in Vietnam. He'd probably right? Would you fight in Vietnam, Jank? No, you wouldn't. And you come on. I've always he's hated anti-gun. This sh very anti-gun. It gets yeah, to, this it's, fucking. What are you calling him a puss? You, you, you'd probably you die, Jank. You can't you talk dead? about joining the army. You're a motherfucker. You bitch. You have never in your life done anything army like. Just saying. And. I've always hated this shit about the show too. If you disagree with them, you're just crazy. They just automatically label you, label you a lunatic. It's fine. I'd rather be crazy and right. Than... Right. Is it a gun ban? No, he isn't. Uh, you know, it's hey, getting to that point. Crazy ones. Either. You tend to be did the smarter ones. Did you see many at the Sikh temple in Aurora, Colorado? Obama did that. And, and then, of course, he's a socialist. Jank, you're reading way too... That's another thing. You're reading way too into this. It's Dave Mustaine. He says crazy shit. Probably... He probably was saying that to be funny. I don't think he actually was being serious. He was probably high. Or drunk. It's a free country. Man. It's a free country, man. You can't just... So, this show... <sighs> okay, I don't know where you want to go, Dave, but we would love it if you left the country. I, I, love it. Yeah. By all means. How about it, Hawk? I feel like uh, he's done one too many drugs. Like, he, it's such oh. a crazy conspiracy theory. And it, it Anna, is this What your, does this have to do with drugs? Is this your it's big conspiracy? Because, honestly... He's saying this because of drug use. You know, so maybe he's... He probably he's feels doing, that way. He's doing his research. He's thinking outside the box. Yeah, he's thinking outside of the box. Which, you're not independent, you dumbasses. You're... To me, you need to keep an open mind. You're as bad as Fox News. You're the liberal version of Fox News. If you want to speak on these sorts of subjects. <sighs> yeah, you got to think outside the box. Do you think it would be somewhat plausible if Obama was actually doing something to, you know, pass gun control laws? No, but he's like literally doing nothing. People are like, Obama, pass some sort of law, do something, talk about it. He's not doing anything. I know, the Brady group gives them straight Fs on gun control. Yeah. But you know what, look, the best I give an F on the show. Crazy. Because even if he was trying his hardest to pass gun control, right, like he's Mayor Bloomberg, it would be the craziest conspiracy in the world that he organized the shooting. Mm -hmm. But on top of that, he's not even trying to pass any gun control. And then the Nazi come. Now look, you know, these guys are like, oh, God, it's American guns! Jank, well, you know what? Like, You're yeah, just a channel that talks shit at the yeah, end of the day. All talk. Are you calling him a loser? He has money. He he actually's made how many albums has Davis Saint sold in his career? And you're calling him a loser? He worked his way up. He worked his way up. What are you, young church? You're on the musical new, talent. You're on a show. He did what he wanted. Which I don't even think really requires IQ. You're gonna sit here. You're sitting back there on your freaking asses and talking shit when he's calling him a loser. Yeah, who's a loser, really? Prove that he's weird. They're uh, definitely liberal. 
uh, in fact, he was interviewed about, uh, you know, the Republican Party. So you're going to hate on his views now? Like, is this what this show is? presidential qualities, and I'm hoping that if he does come down to it, we'll see a Republican in the White House, and that is Rick Santorum. So he's in favor of him, and of course that didn't work out for him. But when it comes to Mitt Romney, he seems a little split. By the way, I love that I'm analyzing this lunatic to his I know. Anna, shut the fuck up, please. Who are they calling a lunatic? If we land on Venus, and we meet the Venetians there, they will be big fans of Sheldon Adelson. And, and I'm not just saying this because I'm a David Mustaine fan, okay, granted. Okay, like it's part of it, but... Yeah, he's absolutely you guys are just talking. Oh! oh! <laughs> and you're going to sit here and talk shit, but you've never heard of Megadeth. Okay, first of all, if you've never heard of Megadeth... You shouldn't be talking. talking about Dave Mustaine like you actually know him? Yeah, shut the fuck up. You, T-Y-T, you calling T-Y-T a credible show? You just proved it right there. You've never... Before you argue about something... You have to know your shit. Yep, you be- know, know your shit. Know your stuff. You can't just... <sighs> this is... This has just proved my point. That you, you're you're as bad as Fox News. Honestly. You're gonna sit here and insult Dave Mustaine, but you've never heard of Megadeth. And you're trying to act all smug about it. Dave Mustaine will slap his cock on your face. I've never... I, I, I've never heard of Megadeth. Right, she's trying to act like... Oh, bitch, but you like Kanye West. And she'll defend him to the end. Does she? Yeah, dude. In one video, she calls Kanye West a good lyricist. Right? You're gonna call oh, him dear a god. You're gonna call him a good lyricist, but you didn't know who Dave Mustaine is. No wonder she doesn't know, cause she's into this mainstream. She, music. she likes mainstream music. I'm gonna get in more of into course. that. Once again, she's fucking posh. Yeah. This. Keep going. Just. just... <laughs> that was ridiculous. You're gonna laugh. But no, no. Look, I don't know who she does say. Oh, you bo- both of you don't know what you're talking about. Sit on your ass and speak about something you don't know about. Wow. You just, Young Turks. You you have reached a level. I mean, I, I don't understand what what this does. It doesn't. This is not saving lives. It I'm really isn't. On this. What are you What are you guys doing? Look what Damon Stane's doing. He's entertaining millions. He has made money since the fucking eighties. He worked his LA out. He was in metallic. He was in many. I mean, he's doing tours. What are you doing? Sitting on your asses behind a freaking on your and look. I'm not. I mean, I agree with you on one thing, Young Turks. Honestly. That's weed legalization. That's one thing. But who, at this point, uh, doesn't disagree with that at this point? It's, it doesn't harm. I'll Marijuana, be, the, the, the actual... Gabriel's watched Young Turks for one day, and he already, he probably, I could, you can tell he already hates them at this point. That, that, that really just, you try to act all smug about it, but you like Kanye West, and I get the fuck out. Okay, I actually like this country, and I'm not a lunatic, so apparently... Oh, are you getting to... How is he a lunatic? Oh, 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 hell no. Are you trying to say, oh, if you listen to rock, you're a lunatic now? Is that what you're trying to say? Wow. First, you just insulted... You just insulted Dave and saying, now you're insulting metal fans. You... (sighs) Fine. We are fucking lunatics. We're lunatics if we actually listen to good music. You, you're brainwashed by... Anna, I'm sorry. You can't talk. If you like Kanye West, and you call him a good lyricist, but you're calling my music garbage. <sighs> Keep going. At least they play real fucking music. Right, we play instruments. What does Kanye West do? instruments. He's not this fucking... <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> It baffled me, man. I can't fucking stand this as well. Uh, I'm gonna rip you a new asshole, Young Turks. I'm gonna do a big shoot. Oh, you know, no. He's not an embarrassment. You're an embarrassment. You didn't even do your research on Megadeth. You didn't do fucking jack shit. You're just sitting back there with your fucking smug asses. Jank. I mean, granted... Jank, you're the more smarter one from Anna, but honestly, Kim Kardashian's probably smarter than her. But you're just well, Kim Kardashian's a good businesswoman, right? And 
you're just jealous, I think. You just don't know what you're talking about. You have no credibility. I, I actually was trying to help you in my other videos. I was trying to show you what's wrong with you. Now, at this point, I just want to rip you apart. Oh, I hear you, and they're they're hard rock. Yes, that makes sense. Well, and, and then, First of all, they're not hard rock. You, Me Megadeth, they're metal. You bitches. That's metal. You metal. You they can't tell the difference between no, hard rock. No, no, why? Because they listen to mainstream music, bro. <laughs> I mean, no. I mean, if you if you're, if you're I'll admit, Kanye West back in the day, I I'll I, give him I credit. Like he has some decent music. Yeah. He worked his way up. But now he's a but fucking his, his ego. All this money got to him. All this shit, you know. It's it's you know. I, I'm a I'm a god. Shut the fuck up. You are in, first of all. You are not a god. You are not fucking perfect. Nobody is perfect. First of all, and another thing. Your music. Let's be honest. A five year old could write your lyrics. Just saying. God, that's bullshit. You're a fucking human being with a bunch of fucking money. Pretty much that's it. Uh, I just read Glenn Beck's book, Coward. It was very eye opening. Want to get pissed? Read it. And let me know what you think. Oh, geez. Oh, and before that, YouTube is trying to shut down the real Alex Jones. Wait, do you like him or not? This is censorship. Do something. Oh, that's so <laughs> no, funny. No, oh, that's way. so funny. Because I swear to you, the one thing, what I was going to say like two minutes earlier, but I forgot in, in the usual dick move, was like, well, in like, a usual Young Turks movie, you don't do your job. Clip, and it was like, oh, that guy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, so okay. Know? Final thoughts, Gabe. Go. Man, you you just really you just is this really the subject we're talking about? Just about David Mustaine talking about Obama staging mass shootings. Who cares what? I mean, let's be honest. I don't care what he thinks politically. I like his music. Anyways. It's America, a free country. He's, spe he's speaking what he thinks, just as you are. And you just, Young Turks. Okay. I'm going to rip you a new asshole in another video, because I want to go into detail. But for right now, I'm going to keep it like this. I'm going to say it like this. How are you so popular? I don't get it. I really don't. Well, first of all... Anna is a beautiful, I guess she's a... She's a, a beautiful woman. woman. Yes. But she's not... That the, attracts a lot of viewers, yeah, I that's guess. That's exactly... That's what and keeps You know coming. what the thing is? They bash Fox News for doing that. And they and they speak, they speak, and they speak, you know, they speak very, um, you know, intelligently, I guess. They speak, they, yeah, they, I guess, they, they use, I guess, big vocabulary words, so they... They're probably making really, like, they're stupid people believe that they're right. I'm sorry, no. It baffles me. Anyone who blindly follows this show, you want to bash Fox News for using hot girls? I, I say, I, I mean, I'm pretty sure, I don't think everything I say is right. I don't either. I'm speaking my opinion. It's I my might opinion. Have, I might have to personally do more research, but I'd say, first of all, if you're, if you're going to... Before you think of believing what the Young Turks say is true, research I yourself. say you do some research because you're only getting one side when you should get another side. And another thing. There's a bunch they of They have no things. credibility when they sit here at the Anna with her smug ass like, oh, I never heard of Megadeth. You yeah. fucking lose all credibility. You should research you. You shouldn't, have, you shouldn't have said that. You really shouldn't have said that because you made yourself look so stupid. And then, But you like to defend Kanye West. Is that, that? There is a big difference. And let's, I'm going to be honest here. Anna, I don't care what anyone says. Our Anna ass kissers can get on me. But she was hired for her looks. Let's be real. She like, let's keep it real like they say. She was hired for her looks. If she was unattractive, I'm pretty sure they wouldn't have hired her. No, it's not. Don't say, well, she has intel. What, what intelligence has she proven to me? In two videos. I guarantee you. You. That a woman much, much more intelligent... There's a woman. It's probably try, but... Dude, my girlfriend's more intelligent she was, than yours. She was... She didn't have the look, right? Right. Right. I Honestly, mean, that other host, Joe Pike, was so much better. 
honestly, I'm at the point with Anna. Every time she's not on, I'm happy. It's like, she's like the John Cena of the Young Turks. She's shoved down her throats. She's vanilla. I mean, at the end of the day, Young Turks. Peace. Enjoy.